China stands as the epicenter of groundbreaking mega-projects that captivate the world's attention. From awe-inspiring infrastructure feats to urban expansions and environmental conservation initiatives, China's relentless pursuit of progress showcases its mastery in engineering and visionary economic planning. As 2024 unfolds, a tapestry of monumental projects unfolds across the nation, poised to redefine landscapes and societies. Delve into the intricacies of these transformative endeavors, unravel the challenges they pose, and explore the potential they hold for shaping China's tomorrow. What secrets lie within these colossal undertakings, and how will they sculpt the future of one of the world's most dynamic nations? Join us on this journey of discovery and anticipation as we unveil the untold stories behind China's mega-projects, the Belt and Road Initiative, a visionary endeavor to revitalize the traditional Silk Road commerce routes while simultaneously promoting new linkages throughout Asia, Europe, and Africa, is represented by the Belt and Road Initiative of China, which was introduced by President Xi Jinping in the year 2013. The expansion of infrastructure, the adoption of trade agreements, and the promotion of cultural exchanges are all components of this massive effort, which aims to improve regional connectivity and economic cooperation. There are two key components that make up this effort, these are the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road. Both of these components span enormous geographies and involve a number of different countries. The commitment that China has made to the project is significant, and it is expected that the country would invest more than $1.3 trillion by the year 2027. A large investment of this magnitude exemplifies China's aspiration to become a prominent role in global connectivity and economic integration which would provide significant prospects for commercial exchange, investment, and cultural exchange. In spite of the fact that it has a lot of potential, the Belt and Road Initiative is confronted with a number of obstacles. These obstacles include geopolitical difficulties, environmental concerns, and worries about the ability of participating nations to pay off their debt. China, on the other hand, continues to be unwavering in its commitment to the initiative, which places an emphasis on cooperation that is mutually beneficial and sustainable development. There are obstacles to overcome, but the Belt and Road Initiative also has enormous economic promise. Through the promotion of increased connectivity and the facilitation of commerce, the initiative has the potential to drive economic growth, the development of infrastructure, and the creation of jobs throughout all of the participating regions. Furthermore, by fostering cultural interaction and mutual understanding, the Belt and Road Initiative helps to the development of closer linkages between states and the creation of a global society that is significantly more integrated. The Guango Evergrande Football Stadium Ever wondered how the futuristic Guango Evergrande Football Stadium might reshape sports entertainment? This stadium is a symbol of China's expanding dominance in the entertainment and sports industries. The stadium has the objective of redefinition of the football experience while simultaneously presenting architectural innovation and cultural symbolism. It was envisioned that the stadium would have a capacity of 100,000 people, would be equipped with cutting-edge facilities, and would provide immersive entertainment experiences. The estimated cost of the stadium was $27 billion. Evergrande Group, the developer of the Guango Evergrande Football Stadium project, suffered financial difficulties, which resulted in the project experiencing delays despite the fact that initial progress had been made in construction. Concerns were raised over the viability of big infrastructure projects as a result of the cancellation of the project in 2021. Nevertheless, the participation of the government is done with the intention of rescuing the project and ensuring that it is finished under new management or ownership. South North Water Transfer Project The South North Water Transfer Project is an attempt that has been going on for several decades and was started in 2003. Its purpose is to alleviate the issues that China faces with water scarcity by transferring water from the south to the north. The project intends to ease water stress, assist economic development, and enhance ecological sustainability. It will accomplish these goals by utilizing three primary routes that will go through the eastern, central, and western regions. The South North Water Transfer Project is one of the largest water transfer projects in the world and it requires a significant amount of infrastructure building as well as ecosystem management measures. 
It is anticipated that the project will transport 44.8 billion cubic meters of water yearly, which will be of use to more than 500 million people across China's major river basins. The overall budget for the project is greater than $79 billion USD. Due to the expansive nature of the project, there are issues that arise in relation to the impact on the environment, the relocation of people, and the control of water quality conditions. In spite of this, China's dedication to solving water scarcity through the implementation of creative solutions highlights the significance of the project in terms of ensuring water security and promoting sustainable development. The Chengdu Metro When it was first opened to the public in December 2022, the Chengdu Metro marked a significant milestone in the development of urban transportation in Sichuan Province. The Chengdu Metro is a comprehensive network of subway lines that spans the entire city. It improves mobility, connectivity, and economic vibrancy, while simultaneously lowering traffic congestion and carbon emissions. Since its inception in 2005, the Chengdu Metro project has developed into a comprehensive transportation network that includes a total of 12 subway lines and one light rail route. As a result of its vast coverage and seamless connectivity, which is made possible by transfer stations, the Metro network acts as a vital resource for both locals and tourists, making travel operations more efficient and contributing to the expansion of metropolitan areas. The incorporation of artificial intelligence for the purpose of maintenance and operation in the Chengdu Metro demonstrates China's dedication to the advancement of technical innovation in the field of urban transportation. The Chengdu Metro is a prime example of China's ambition for the smart and sustainable cities of the future. According to plans, the Metro network will be expanded and artificial intelligence-driven features will be improved. Ready to speed into the future with the Chongqing Kunming High Speed Rail. The Chongqing Kunming High Speed Rail project is an amazing feat of engineering. It will link the city of Chongqing in southwestern China to Kunming, which is the capital city of Yunnan province, by rail over 1,600 kilometers. This project is an important part of China's huge high-speed train network and could speed up regional integration, boost economic growth, and make it easier to promote tourism. The bold goal of the Chongqing Kunming High Speed Rail Project is to build bullet trains that can go up to 350 kilometers per hour. This is a huge step forward in transportation infrastructure. By cutting the travel time between Chongqing and Kunming from 20 hours to just 7 hours, the high-speed train link makes the area much easier to get to and makes it easier for people and goods to move between regions without any problems. The high-speed train project has effects that go far beyond just making transportation more efficient. Along its long route, it helps the economy grow, brings together businesses, and brings in more tourists, which is good for communities in both cities and rural areas. The train link makes it easier for people in the region to connect with each other and share their cultures. This supports China's goal of promoting growth that is both strong and open to everyone. Industrial clustering is one of the main reasons why the Chongqing Kunming High Speed Rail Project has helped the economy grow. In addition to helping the economy, the Chongqing Kunming High Speed Rail Project is very important for bringing people in the area together and getting them to work together. The rail link brings together different towns and economies, which helps people work together on things like trade, investment, and building up infrastructure. This connectivity makes it easier for people to share ideas, resources, and knowledge, which leads to growth and prosperity across regions. The project also shows how committed China is to environmental protection and sustainable growth. The high-speed rail link helps clean up the air and lower carbon footprints by giving people an option to driving, which is often linked to higher carbon emissions and damage to the environment. The project also takes the environment into account when it is being planned and built, so it has as little of an effect on the environment as possible and protects natural areas. The Chongqing Kunming High-Speed Rail Project is a sign of China's commitment to new ideas, improving infrastructure, and working with other countries in the area. The Hainan International Tourism Island Project The South China Sea is home to the Hainan International Tourism Island, which serves as a flagship project for the province of Hainan. Its primary objective is to encourage environmentally responsible tourism and economic diversification. This project, which is supported by significant investments from the government and partnerships with international organizations, 
aims to establish Hainan as a leading destination for tourists from all over the world, both domestically and internationally. Initiatives pertaining to the preservation of cultural heritage, environmental conservation, and infrastructural development are all included in the Hainan International Tourism Island Project. Using a total investment that is greater than $50 billion, the project intends to improve tourism facilities, increase transportation networks, and develop immersive experiences that highlight the natural beauty and cultural wealth of Hainan. Because the number of tourists visiting Hainan International Tourism Island continues to increase, the island is well positioned to continue its expansion and development beyond the year 2025. The initiative helps to Hainan's rise as a leading global tourism destination while also maintaining its ecological integrity and cultural history. This is accomplished through the adoption of sustainable practices, technological innovation, and international collaboration. Thanks.